good day to you from wherever you are watching this story. Mm -hmm. I encountered a uh, difficulty when I tried to uh, assess the UCI machine learning repository online. So I wanted to download the data set from there, but I find it difficult. Reason being that when you check the UCI machine learning website, you find out that you are presented with the description and to get access to the download when you come to the data folder you click on the data folder it opens and presents you with this when you click on this for example either of them either of the quality you see you can download directly but on the other end when it is not .csv on the other end, when it is not .csv, there will be a problem for you to download because it is not .csv. What I'm saying is, if in a situation you assess a, a machine learning, a data set, you assess a data set, and you try to, okay, let me just go there. You try to download the data set from the UCI machine learning, uh repository okay let me go with this anonymous microsoft web data i click on it i don't know actually if it is uh the format i want but let me see it's a recommend recommender system let me see i think you should be able to give us what we want i will check the download folder let's quickly look take a look at the download folder so i can close this Okay, good and fine. I have this in, not in CSV. When I click this, it downloads, but I don't have access to my data. So I don't know what to do. So in a situation like this, when you encounter a situation like this, all you need to do is to copy this part. Please take note, the part you are copying, the address, the the file that ends with dot data because that is where the data is this dot test is also where the test data is okay so what is the first thing i need to do i just need to import sorry i go to my jupyter notebook import pandas as pv well in importing pandas as pv i can have my url that is the URL. I always love using this R before it. So then what next will I do? I have to specify uh, data or data frame df equals to what equals to pv dot read underscore csv. Then what will I supply it to read? I'll supply the URL to read from the URL. Okay, so I can see my dot head and i'll get this and i will see what it will produce for us just a moment you see how it produces what we so much desire dot head you know it takes it makes use of the network so it has to go to the website through the link and read the data from there, you read it at the CSV, then it can also, it, before it will, pardon, it will make it available in the data frame. So why is executing? We can, uh, let me just tell you more one or two concerning this. This info, this info data, it tells us uh, this info file, Tells us about the information, and if I want to click on it, you open. You see, it will just download, and you will not have access to more description. So, thank God that you see it has downloaded. Same thing with this data; it will just download, and you can't have it. It can't be read. Okay, what about the test? If you click on the test too, so 
it also downloads, but you won't be able to see it. Now, remember that the UCI machine learning repository have the description, data description for every for every data. Let me see here, uh, data set information. Okay, so this is a good data description for the data. So let me see what's good. Now we have this. It has downloaded, it has taken it, and we've read it. We've read it. You see, everything is being read by from the link. It's being read from the link. Uh, it's read as a data frame from the link. Okay, so a very good example that I've done previously is from the breast cancer data set. From the breast cancer data set. And I'll present that to you. And that is what okay. This is the wine data set. Uh Okay, quickly let me present that of the breast data, breast cancer data set to you, and you will observe how I downloaded the breast cancer data set from, from UCI machine learning repository. Okay, that's what you have on the screen presently. You see, I accessed the link of the breast cancer data set, then I read it. But on reading it, it provides nothing for me. It has no description. So I have to assess, I have to take the description from the link. Let me just open it here. Let me open it up so you can get, you can confirm what, um being said here yeah. okay the um, oh, oh sorry this is inclusive of breast cancer yeah okay i have to include it please so it will open up good and fine good and fine good and fine okay so we have this this way i see the, the data this for the names from these names you can get the names of the columns as if you want to get the name from the call of the columns you can use the description you can use the description and assess the names of the columns to assess the names of the columns. okay let me quickly look for that press cancer okay and pick this good so you see the description this is the, this, these are the description for the breast that is the feature names the feature names for the breast cancer data set and this is just what i got the feature names and i did it here so when i fix the features name I the column names to the data set and I have also uh, I'm done with whatever thing I have to do I just need to save it using uh, the, the data set dot to CSV I save it and go straight into uh, into my local storage go straight into my local storage this is the way you can save any data set anything you want to use as a data set you can save it online and you have access to it okay what about this this is the previous example i've done before and just showing you 
how I was able to save uh, the premiership table. How I was able to save read a table from the data set in this dead column, this highlighted column. In some situation, some websites prove very difficult for you to read from them. If they do not allow it, uh, you can use you can simply type this code and it will give you a pass it will give a pass to read the table from the data set because as a data scientist not every time your data comes in another file at times your data might be on a website that you have to assess and extract data from there so if you have difficulty from using just pandas or uh, read underscore csv you can use read underscore html but you have to specify the header and you have to make it in the form of request just to have on this line the code will be posted in the description and this is also another website i read this from i read this from a property website in uk uh, getting the uh, agents, uh, estate agents in UK, and I was able to do that. I was able to do that. So either I use pandas alone, or I use the request, uh, the request library. Uh, it comes is a default library that comes with uh, Python, or I use the pandas and our schedule getting whatever thing i want to get online please this is just a sharp escape to those that are finding it difficult to extract data online thank you very much for watching and please do have a lovely day please you can do it to share this video you can share the video to those that are finding it difficult to scrape or to extract data from online. In subsequent videos, if you want me to teach you more on web scraping using Beautiful Soup or any other scraping software, just indicate in the comment section and I will develop a series to teach you web scraping using the default Python library, using Beautiful Soup and the other advanced one i will tell you that library if you know it commenting thank you have a nice day